Okay, so we're going to cover the engine HR uh, head offset real quick here. Uh, this will just help you when you're setting up your heads. Um, so this is a high resolution engine. And the first thing I'll do is, is I'm going to home it. You do that by enabling the Z calibrate and you hit the Z button. And you'll see it moves down and comes back to where it triggers the sensor. I'll do that again one more time. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and home the X and Y. It pops off and then homes again. So now those guys are already set. Now you can put that exact code in the beginning of your program and it will guarantee to start from exactly the same position every time uh, within a couple microns. Uh, so it's a G28 space Z0 and that's right here. We're, we're going to have to do a screenshot yeah, to get that right. Yeah, um, and that will be for your Z. So, And now if you do a G28X0, Y0, it will uh, move away and then rehome both axes. Now, before we can actually try to print, we have to figure out how far it is from the virtual zero to our build plate. So the actual zero is somewhere below your build plate because we have to actually go past zero to guarantee that different size nozzles will um, actually get there. So if you had a short one, it wouldn't reach. So we have to have a zone that goes past uh, the hard part of the bed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to if you look here, it'll say X, Y, and Z. Once we've homed, the Z is set for 100 millimeters above the virtual zero plane. And now I'm going to jog this down. Okay, we're getting close. And now I'm getting really close. Uh, I could put a piece of paper in there. Uh, so I'll do that just to see if I can make it fit. Piece of paper. That's it right there. Just started grabbing. All right. So now you read, and that C says 17.2. So from the virtual zero, which is below your work surface, it's 17.2 millimeters to the tip of this device. So we're giving that one tool, and it will become tool... Um, Two, it's the second tool over. You could also go by position, but don't confuse position with the actual tool. Uh, so we come down here, and since it's my second tool in here, I'm going to come and I'm going to edit that. And it says M660, which says set to tool length, T2 for the second tool. It's an array of tools, and you can have up to 99 tools in case you want to pop heads on and off in your build. Uh, so uh, I'm going to put this right here. And now I call it head. The H is the height of that tool. So T2 space H, and now that number, 17.2. 17.20. All right. And now I'm going to come down to my code. And right here at the very first move, I'm going to tell it to use height 2 because I'm, I'm going to use head number 2's offset. All right. I'm going to save this. Because I want to have something to call back on. So I've just saved it. All right. So now this right here is going to go Z of half a millimeter. So we're actually going to home this back up again. And then I'm going to start it. And you'll see this needle comes down. It's going to be just a half millimeter above this height when it starts running. And here we go. And now it's moving down to the position that's been requested before starting to extrude. And it will stop just half a millimeter above the surface because that's what the code's telling it. G0Z.5. And there you go. And now we would be laying out our first layer in our scaffold. And that's it. So now if you have two different heads, you can load them in opposite sides. You can make a smaller platform, such as what the grooves are for, and that way they'll never interfere. You can actually have two different lengths, up to several millimeters if you do it right, and you'll be able to go back and forth by using the head offset, and they will independently set themselves up. All right. And why are those LEDs on, Carl? Oh, they're on because we're testing the cross-link LEDs on this unit. You'll see the motor spinning. We're doing this without, a, we don't want to clean up the mess that we're doing without the syringe installed. But this is actually emulating a plant on this head right here. 
but I'm using this head offset right now to, for the demonstration of the head offset. Gotcha. Okay, that's uh, all we need to do. I'm going to kill the job and uh, let us know how it goes for you.